Sharky on Sony Long one day runs into his mortal enemy, Fishy. Do mine eyes deceive me? <laughs> Out yonder, a fish of the bony brand. Good day, Sharky, my most hated nemesis. <laughs> you can hardly blame me for devouring your siblings. They were oh so scrumptious. You scoundrel! <laughs> you bony fishes are such easy prey for me. Oh, that is a lie. You know that your clumsy, muscular body is incapable of the fine maneuvers my body can pull off. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 what's going on here? Um... Fishy and I are in a heated debate about who is better. More like Sharky over there is in denial about how superior I am. I could have sworn both of you are fishes. Well, yes. But he is from the class Chondrichthys, who have cartilage bones, and I come from the Ostygnus, who have bony bones. <laughs> oh, I see. Both sound cool to me, but I could be a neutral third party and just saturate you with you guys if you want. That's, That's perfect. perfect! So, let's hear about your bodies. Well, my body, as most of you humans know, is fierce and powerful. <laughs> 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 Big whoop! Your giant hulking body may be able to swim fast, due mainly to your powerful caudal fin, but I'm hardcore and bad to the bone, whereas you're just soft. You know, we can settle this in a calm manner. Sharky, I see that look in your eye. I think you just need to relax and clear your mind, okay? I'm a boy! Check yourself <laughs> in my straight and pointy fin. Duh! Uh, can't you see these claspers at the base of his pelvic fin? <laughs> anyway, why is the contract be sinking? Because I stopped swimming. When I stop swimming, I sink. It's not like I'm fat or anything. <laughs> it's just that the muscle is heavy. I have oils in my liver that help with the buoyancy, but if I stay stationary, I sink. Stupid over there forgets to swim when you told him to clear his mind. <laughs> <laughs> How did you rest then? Well, sometimes a shark like myself will use his muscles, jaws, and pharynx to pump water over his gills while resting on the ocean floor. I don't have to worry about that, about all that, because I have a swim bladder. What's that? Well, it is full of air so that I can have the perfect amount of buoyancy I want without putting in energy, so ha! So when Sharky is resting, he has to work harder to breathe? Why does swimming make breathing easier for you, Sharky? Ah. Well, when water runs over my gills, gas exchange naturally occurs, and I breathe. As for me, water goes through my pharynx, and the movement of my upper column moves the water to my gills. This is what allows me to stay still and breathe without using much energy. Sounds like Fishy has the advantage here. Yeah, well, so long as I'm swimming, it's not that big a deal. Okay, okay, next category. How did you all have your sexy time? Sharks have many ways to sexy time. <laughs> Some species can do it oviparously, where the female lays eggs outside of her body. Some species like doing it oviviparously, where eggs stay in the oviduct. And then some species sexy time viviparously, with the babies developing in the uterus. We all stick these very extensively in how we reproduce. Some of us like to do it oviparously as well, with the female laying eggs in outside. But some species have their sexy time internally. That's my favorite. <laughs> and you <laughs> to develop babies. Pardon me, I must use the loo. <laughs> Pardon me, but how do your extraterrestrial systems work? I'm not sure how that fish works, but my number twos go through my cloaca. Or cloaca. Actually, everything of mine empties <laughs> through the cloaca. Nice and simple. Uh, well, I'm pretty private about how I use the loo. But if you must know, I have all of the fixings, such as the urinary bladder and anus. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Hey, what, what, what's that smell? Uh, I don't smell anything. Do you, Fishy? No. Don't you remember? I have super duper senses. Have you not seen a single movie about moi? God! Dude, you can't even see in color. What are you so happy about? I don't need to see in color to kill you. Do you understand that, you slimy little twit? Hey, 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 don't even go there, okay? That slime helps. It is a very special adaption that reduces drag when I swim. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so fish, you can see in color? Yes, and I have a ladder line system, which allows me to sense the tiniest change in water pressure around me. This is why when you stupid humans stick your hands in the water to grab at me, I am able to dart away so fast. 
Hey, hey, I also have a lateral line system, so don't start feeling so special. Yeah, well, you also have a bottom feeder living in your class. You leave feet. Uncle Ray out of there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, what are you guys going on about? Who's Uncle Ray? Do I really want to know? The Condrifes class of cartilaginous fishes isn't made up of all these super cool shark rays. They also have bottom feeders, like the ray fish. The ray is cool, too. We're a class of hardcore killers, all right? Ever heard of the crocodile hunter? This fool hunted crocs, and what killed him? A ray killed him. Sharks and rays are both two very sexy cartilaginous fishes. We just live very different lifestyles. Do the Ostichthys have any weird members in their class? Oh, definitely. Not all of them are well known to humans like our ray fin fish here. Yeah, yeah, okay. The lobe fishes in my class are bottom dwellers. But there's only one lobe fish anyway. That's the... Ugh, coal lions. <laughs> Everyone thought they were extinct, but then one day, some fisherman caught one near South Africa. Um, any other secret members? Ugh, I guess I should tell you about the lung fishes. They most live in swamps and ponds, but they are also able to breathe your filthy human air. They still have gills, which are their main organs for gas exchange. They're not all bad, though, seeing as how the lungfishes are one of the links to amphibians and tetrapods today, kind of like how monkeys lead to you humans. Just one last thing to go over, then. Tell me about your heart. Well, I'm really romantic and whatnot. <laughs> no, no, I mean you're sort of respiratory. Gosh. Oh, well. I have a two-chambered, one-pump heart, whereas you mammals have your frivolous, four-chambered, two-pump heart. My quote-unquote primitive heart works fine for me, since while underwater, I don't have to deal with the problem of pumping blood against gravity. Yes, I also have the primitive two-chambered heart, and I have no complaints. Well, I think your hearts are lovely. <laughs> so I've come to a conclusion about who the winner is. As cool and powerful as Sharky is, fishy is incredibly important for humans. The fish industry provides food for millions. Bony fish like tuna, trout, and salmon are staples in the human diet. Without ostichthys, like the ray fish, humans would be at losing an invaluable resource. Sharks are known throughout the human world as vicious man-eaters. In reality, however, you're probably more likely to be killed by a vending machine, and yet, you don't see any terrifying things about soda dispensers. Sharks play an important role in the ocean as king of the food chain. They maintain a balance in the waters and ensure that fishes don't reproduce unchecked and take over the ocean. Hmm, this is tougher than I thought. Both chondrichthys and ostichthys play important roles for humans. But I think the ostichthys' role as food and prey outweigh my love for the terrifying beast. The winner is fishy. <laughs> That's yeah. fine with me. I'm still going to eat your children. No, seriously, <laughs> I dare you to go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs>